Shabbat Shalom everyone, this week it is Parshat Naso, the largest Parsha in the Torah, comprising of 176 verses. And today, in the Parsha today, it will juxtapose two different topics. It will juxtapose the Sota and the Nazi. They'll be coupled together, they'll be related over. What is the Sota first of all? It is a woman that has been warned, not a married woman, warned not to be secluded with another man. And despite the warning, she still secludes herself and there's a suspicion of adultery. And she's going to have to drink a bit of water to see if she had indeed caused adultery or she could admit it. And it could lead to a uh, severe cer ceremony and cost her life. But why the Nazir is next to it, talked about next to it. The Nazir is someone that separates himself from great products from shaving, cutting his hair, what it might be, can't go to a burial site from... Uh, so this is someone that's working on himself. We see that so someone that sees a sota, they get influenced. They could see that this is a woman that's uh, going against her husband's wishes, that's going against Hashem's wishes. So that could have like an effect on the people. So Hashem, Hashem's broads in the Torah, the Nazi is someone that separates himself, works on his earthly pleasures, to take away the earthly pleasures from this world, such as not drinking wine, not cutting his hair and all that because it's giving, taking his pride away let's just say and it, to take him into the middle path and the Rambam actually relates someone should always choose a middle path so by going on the opposite extreme to a Sota and becoming a Nazi that's gonna help that man get this or woman get that happy equilibrium and uh, keep the mitzvot of Hashem so those two topics and it's interesting I related over just recently in the Gemara I learned the Sium also on Sota and also on Nazi on Dafiomi which you can listen to on the channel you're more than welcome to I'd like to dedicate this to uh, happy birthday to my father Moshe Ben Sari did. I mean, you have all the blessing inside the world. It's an auspicious occasion, and we all wish you so much blessings and Yom Huledet Sameach. Thank you for everything, and have a Chag Sameach and Shabbat Shalom.